How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to the Brothers Barn. I'm James, and today we are going to be making a proportioner. Been getting a lot of feedback about how you make the proportioner, so since uh, ours did take a crap on us, not really a crap, but it's not working the way it should, figured might as well go ahead and show you guys how to make it. Our SH side uh, was not drawing correctly, so I think it's got a small hairline crack somewhere. But I uh, thought this was a good chance to show you guys how to make it. So we're just going to go ahead and make one together. That way you guys know how to make one and work on them if needed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We truly appreciate it. It helps our channel grow. And uh, if you've got some questions, make sure you leave them in that comment section. We'll get back with you as quickly as possible. And below, all the links to get everything you need is there. So I went ahead and set up all the links for all the pieces. So you don't have to hunt around for it. Just click on the link and it'll take you right to the page. And you can order everything you need. But uh, So let's get started. Alright, so first things... Uh, I'm going to need a couple pliers, is what I'm going to use, and some tape. It's tape that I'm using. It works pretty good. It's gray. So, kind of move that out of the way and. So, you can kind of see the layout of putting it all together. So, obviously first is we got to tape up all the threads, so let's uh, get to taping. Okay, <clears throat> now that we've got everything taped up, except for this, i got to... I'll take some more stuff off of this because I'm reusing this since it's still in good shape. You can kind of see all the way through it, no clogs, no issues with it. it, just doesn't look the prettiest. But everything's taped up, so now we're going to start putting this together and I'll start explaining each, each part. All right, now we got all the parts taped up. Okay, take this half inch cross. Take the nipple, twist it, oh yeah. Get your head out of the gutter. We're trying to get something done around here. All right, now that you guys got your heads out of the gutter, take your nipple, it's a half inch nipple, and screw it into the end. You might have to get some pliers to get it nice and snug here. Good and tight. And then we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, half inch nipple. I don't have to get it too tight where it's going to strip anything, but I like it. I like it tight. All right. And we'll just go ahead and do the bottom one. got that we'll leave the top because it's just a barb fitting so half inch elbow put this nipple in this elbow <laughs> and again this is just schedule 80 in case you're curious and then because this is going to be just like this. We want the up, pointing up, obviously. So we're going to screw that baby on. You don't want to get this too, too tight or it's going to strip anything. So you want to make sure it's nice and snug. And put the nipple down there. Half inch nipple. This is a half inch, um, or basically a um, coronator for your pulls. That's what these are. So if you got a 
above or in ground pool, you've probably seen one of these chlorinators before. That's basically all it is. They're very expensive, so you want to make sure you don't strip none of these out. So be careful with that. And then this is a trying to think what this is called again. A uh, flow valve, I think. I think that's right. But it's so water only flows one direction. It has a little thing in there. So water can just go, see how that moves up and down? So water can only go up. And when I release pressure, it puts that stopper down so the water can't travel backwards. So you wanna make sure your arrow's pointing up because we want the water to go up. We don't want it to go back down and mix up. So, I'm gonna put that in right here. Again, this is half inch. Just good hand tight. And we're gonna this is where it starts getting tricky, is getting all these in here and having room for everything. Again, we're gonna have a another chlorinator. And we try, I'm trying to make sure that it all is gonna be straight, just like that. And then half inch nipple. And then again, this, I think it's called flow valve. See? Arrow pointing up. Put that on there. And drop everything. These, you just want to get them nice and hand tight, just like that. Alright, now we're going to go again, half inch elbow to the right side. Again, we want to make sure our off is pointing up, put our coordinator on, it's called a coordinator valve maybe. I can get another turn. One way valve. I think that's what it's called. One way valve. Make sure it's pointing up. Twist that baby on. This is a half inch barb with a half inch thread. So that's gonna go up the top. Again, you don't want to get too too tight where it's gonna crack, but I'm gonna make sure it's leak, not leaking. Alright, now this is the part that if you have not watched this all the way through, you might might make this harder on you whenever you go to set it all up but what we use these are not half inch bars they're different sizes and this is a half inch thread but the barb is three eighths okay so we do a three eighths for the sh and the way we set ours up which worked for us SH water soap and then another barb that's 3 8 which is a half inch thread 3 8 barb for the water so that way your SH and your water are exactly the same and then what we did with the soap is we did a 3 16 that's a half inch and a three sixteenths. 
to us it works out really well we don't use a lot of soap just enough and when we, we had a one fourth and then we went down to three sixteenths because it was using less soap and doing just just as good so maybe people want to use uh, one eight, one fourth but we went down to to the three sixteenths so and then screw that baby in right there this one you just gotta be careful if you're using a brass fitting and plastic because obviously the brass will strip out the plastic so gotta be careful with that All right, well, there she is. So you got your valves for your water, your SH, and your soap. So this is how you build proportioner. So hope this is helpful for you guys. Again, the links are below for picking up any of these pieces. So that way you don't have to hunt around because sometimes these uh, coordinators are hard to find. Um, and this cross uh, sometimes was hard for me to find, but I got took the time to make sure I put the links below for you guys so that way you can just click it, get it to your cart, and get it shipped to you. I know a lot of people will build these and sell them to you. Um, they're not real difficult. Obviously, I just showed you exactly how to build all this. The parts you need, it's all below, and then watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, we truly appreciate it. It helps our channel grow. And if you got comments or questions, Make sure you leave them below and we will get back with you and answer them as quick as possible. Till next time guys. Later everyone.